and coming to this course uh, oracle 12 a new features part one the main reason why i have you know bifurcated this course into two parts basically this is part one that means you can expect part two to be released later and after this is done and people are comfortable with all the topics that i'm going to discuss in this part then i'll be coming up with part two and the reason why i have divided this course into two parts is we can concentrate and we can be uh, you know uh, confident on all the concepts and when we divide them and learn particularly in detail in each and every concept and practice them individually then we are you know a complete dba that's what i feel so if i actually pull up all the topics all the new features into the one course that would basically you know uh, run through your mind but it will not stick in your mind so i the main purpose of me my training is i wanted anybody who is getting trained by me to actually get the concepts and you know uh, stick to them and use them in your day to day activities so that's where i have divided this into two parts and this parts with uh, the prerequisites for this part is i expect the listener is an already an oracle dba with 11g r2 activities or 11g r2 skills so this course is basically for all the existing oracle dbs uh, this course doesn't actually train somebody from the scratch on the 12c it is only for someone uh, who already have the knowledge on oracle 11g at least knowledge and uh, you know skills and concepts and for them this course will help to understand what are the new things that are added into 12c and which are not you know uh, which are not available on 11g that's what the main uh, uh, content of this complete course and that's where you see new features is what the title that means you are, we are going to only concentrate on the new features that are added in 12c version and we know that you know already 12c 12 uh, 101 has been released long back and now it is 12102 is also released by the oracle with many many changes in it so this course will concentrate on 12102 the most recent version of oracle 12c so we are dealing with 12c 12102 version so that's where i'll be showing here so it is 12102 is what we are dealing now and uh, we are going to learn all the new features in 12c when compared with 11g r2 and yes uh, we are going to not only learn the concepts but we are also going to execute them and see literally how is it new to us so uh, this course will cover the concepts and completely on uh, new features and also we are going to uh, execute them and see how it is different and uh, you know how we can identify etc etc so this session is purely on the introduction part so we are not going to quickly start the complete course but i am going to completely explain what would be the com topics in this current session and we are also going to see the first chapter of this course that is you know introduction to oracle 12c new features and in here we are going to see what's new as you know i have highlights you can say but not in detail we are going to see what as an highlight what's new in this complete course including part 2 as well that means we are going to see in a very good picture what is that completely added into 12c and until where we have bifurcated that into part 1 and what would be in the part 2 is what we are going to see completely in this first uh, introduction part and in the same introduction part i have actually included the software installation as well even that we are going to see and uh, later on all the topics after this first chapter will purely concentrate on you know the new features starting from chapter number 2 so yes uh, i can come back to the contents later but still uh, i will be quickly going up to introduction part on 12c new features and then i'm going to come back to the contents and then i'll relate whatever we have discussed would be the same in the contents and you know that's where we are going to actually start with and that would be the complete plan so let us see uh, what's new in oracle 12c in a very good picture as you see on the screen so as you see 12c has come up with all these things that you see on the left hand side where 
we uh, oracle projects that these are the things which are new in oracle 12c and wherever you know uh, specific features which are added in 12102 is what highlighted here as you see on the screen that means these features are not available in 12101 so that's where i have said that we are going to concentrate and we are going to learn new features on 12102 that means it includes new features on 12101 as well so yes as you see on the screen there are many good integrations in the enterprise manager tools but sadly in this course we are not going to concentrate on enterprise manager at all yes uh, you would ask me why enterprise manager is not covered what I basically feel is enterprise manager is just a tool that's a web interface tool where you can do all the stuff simple and you know easy but yes because enterprise manager is a separate license until 11 gr2 we always prefer uh, you know enterprise manager you know not we literally clients would basically think twice if enterprise manager is required or not because when all the activities are possible to be done on the black screen like in your putty session why would be, uh, your client pay an additional cost for your enterprise manager tools that's the reason that's the environment uh, with which I have been working so far that's the reason I always try to learn everything you know uh, I always prefer learning everything on the black screen first and once you are very confident on knowing everything on the black screen I would say that learning enterprise manager is very very simple because everything is visible for you on the screen it is just like navigation from one tab to another tab and click buttons that's it the job done that's the reason I did not cover enterprise manager in this particular course but definitely that is going to be a separate course which will come up for you in future so yes so leaving this enterprise manager you know uh, what all has been integrated etc the next one is CDBs and PDBs so in this we are going to learn basics of CDB PDB so what is CDB CDB is a container database and PDB is pluggable database and yes in this we call 12c as somebody calls as cloud C means cloud yes and uh, you know that's where we call this particular CDB and PDB is the major change in 12C version and with CDBs and PDBs we can now call Oracle as a multi-tenant database architecture that means with a single instance we would be having multiple databases for that uh, you might be having a question if you have some knowledge on our SQL server the same is already available in SQL Server as well long back isn't it but the main advantage of you know Oracle 12c when you compare with you know SQL Server where SQL Server from long back we always have single instance but you always have the privilege to create your own databases but because we know our, our Oracle is completely a different architecture from uh, you know SQL Server and it has got a lot of benefit from the SQL Server and Oracle has make sure that all those benefits are carry forwarded even with this multi-tenant architecture so with this multi-tenant architecture we are going to see the basics of it terminologies of it and how do we create a CDB and PDB and then how do we manage them when I say managing a CDB and PDB I am concentrating on table spaces because <coughs> because once we have the multiple databases running on the same instance definitely how the table spaces are you know uh, dedicated to a one database out of 10 or 20 or it can be anything and how the users are specified specified to only one database but the instance and the dictionaries you know uh, the major dictionaries would be one and the same isn't it so how do we manage roles users you know your table spaces your permissions application data how do you and uh, very specifically your services listener services how do you basically you know differentiate them and how do you give the uh, that to the application so that it comes to the listener and points to the perfect and the correct database a pluggable database you can call 
so that's where we are going to concentrate on you know in cdbs and pdbs and that is covered in this course and then the next one is automatic data optimization uh, which comes with heat map and then online data file movement and ado is basically comprises of these things like you know uh, heat map audit data optimization online data file movement in database archiving and temporal validity and temporal history these are the topics which will be covered in ado and storage as you see automatic data optimization is completely related to the storage so when i say storage it is nothing but table spaces and data files for you because oracle stores the data only in the data files that is table spaces which is logically called and now heat map and automatic data optimization is something which is very very important for infrastructure life cycle management that means to give you an overview of what is heat map automatic data optimization it is nothing but we know uh, for example if you have an oracle database which is running from 20 years that means you might be very very leastly bothered about <coughs> the data which is older than five years all right so you might be only concentrating you you wanted a better better performance for the latest data than the performance for the old data and that old data which is 15 years of old data if it is also occupying the same resources same storage and the same you know uh, architecture as a very important data for you then definitely you will see a lag of performance on the latest data so what infrastructure lifecycle management theory says is whatever data you have and if you don't require that better you archive it back that means you have to either compress them remove them from the database put them in a separate database it can be anything now that used to be a very very challenging job earlier that means before 12c with 12c you have this heat map automatic data optimization etc where this particular feature will help you to automatically do the job you don't need to worry about it your heat map will monitor the usage of your data and it will automatically optimize the data whichever is older for you and which is no more required to be performing very very better for the end users because users might not be using it at all so yes that is what is completely ado and uh, storage is covered and that is what we call it as you know and online data file movement is one thing which is new in our 12c that means earlier if you want to move a data file from one mount point to another mount point how do you do it so it is very simple you know you offline the data file you copy paste or move the data file to the new location come back to the SQL place and issue the command alter database rename file you give a new file name for it and then you make that data file online isn't it that means after you make it offline and until you make it online if it is taking 15 minutes 20 minutes or 30 minutes or one hour for all this time your data file is always offline that is not accessible by the users but in 12c you can do that online that means when the data file copy paste is going on even then you can have your data file online and the users can still use it that's the another feature we are going to learn in that chapter online data file movement that's what will be covered here and it is also part of this course and the next one is in database archiving and temporal validity and history and uh, this is also purely related to your storage and everything heat map data uh, automatic data optimization data file movement in database archiving temporal uh, validity and you know history everything is a part of the storage isn't it so that's where all these things will be covered in this you know uh, ado and storage that's the major one and the next one is a lot about security yes we have unified audit you know uh, we know auditing is one of the monitoring and closely monitoring utilities which are pre uh, pre-installed in the Oracle database and you can enable auditing you can have auditing on a table space level you can have on a user level and you can have on a transaction level we know all these things fine grain auditing you know uh, the other auditings whatever we have and this security we have a unified auditing features which are added into 12c we are going to see them 
and uh, how do we control the privileges and how do we analyze the privileges because now when we speak about the privileges we will be having global privileges and local privileges when i say global privileges privileges to the users which is applicable for all the databases on that instance and when it is a local a privilege that means which is applicable only to the database which you are connected to but it is not applicable for the other you know databases if you connect and that's what we are going to see and the data redaction is another new feature which is added and that is what we are also going to cover in this complete course and this is where i stop basically and this is all part of your part 1 and the major concentration on the part 1 would be all these things and to be confident in all these activities which i have highlighted so we are going to see cdbs pdbs we are going to install it we are going to see them we are going to see automatic data optimization storage online data file movement we are going to see that and in database archiving we are going to see that learn that and execute it and similarly on the auditing whatever new features are added into 12c we are going to see that execute them and then privileges yes how do you basically analyze the privileges in 12c definitely we are going to learn that as well and the data redaction as i said it's a new feature again in terms of security in the oracle 12c database we are going to see that and the rest of the topics are you know covered in your <coughs> part 2 and definitely part 2 is also as important as part 1 because we are covering high availability concepts that is using armen and then your manageability whatever new things are added in the armen we are also going to see them here and then manageability yes database operations real time addm compare your addm to addrs and uh, in memory columns uh, that is regarding the performance completely how do you basically have the in memory database and you can completely cache your database in memory how do we do that is what we are going to see and in memory column store caching everything is from 11 sorry 12102 and how sql tuning has been improved in 12c how the resource manager has been improved in 12c and indexes and tables this is all in performance and then miscellaneous we are going to see sql loader external tables partitioning and data pumps in all these uh, you know utilities how do we basically uh, uh, have what are the improvements added by the oracle 12c is what we are going to see and adding to them we have also covered few of the armen things when it comes to cdb and pdb backing up your you know databases is very very important as soon as you create the database isn't it that's the reason in this course i have also included part of the armen jobs we are also going to see them at all so uh, this course you can say that it is completely like this so it has all these things covered and the rest of the things will be covered for you in the part number 2 so that is it uh, now if you just verify with the contents whatever we have discussed the same thing would be there in the contents as well so we are going to see uh, you know introduction part that's what we are running through now and we are going to install the software that would be the second session anyway and then we are going to understand what is multi tenant cdbs pdbs all this in the part i mean chapter number 2 will be only the concepts but these concepts are completely replicated and we are going to practice them in chapter number 3 because chapter number 3 itself says you how do we create a cdb and pdb and that's where we are going to actually start not only learning the concepts and also executing them yourself and the beauty of this course is you know the course is completely designed in such a way that you can independently learn this and execute them on your own all the softwares log files and this document whatever we are referring will be part of this course as well so you take this course you will get all the videos which are required and uh, every session video is what you know you'll get and then we are also going to share you the document whatever we are referring here and then you are going to get the log files from the putty and then we are also going to share you the all the softwares which are required for your practice so yes let us that is it with this uh, session so this is what we are going to see in this complete course of 12c new features part 1